Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. We are at the SDN World Congress 2016 in The Hague in Netherlands and I'm joined by Paul Stevens who is the Marketing Director, Network and Comms Group at Advantech. Paul, good to see you and welcome. Good morning, Martin. And also on his right, um, Hector Avalos who is Vice President, Sales and Business Development, EMEA at Versa. Good morning. Good morning, Hector. Welcome to you both. Thanks for talking to us. Paul, straight in with you. Over the past month, couple of months, there's been a lot of activity and talk at Advantech on network computing at the mobile edge. And then more recently, there's been an emphasis on the customer edge as well. Can you tell us more about that and why, you, why those particular emphases? Yes, certainly, Martin. Well, uh, we made three uh, important announcements uh, over the past several months. Each of those coincided with key uh, networking industry get-togethers. Um, they also involved one or more key partners, and I think that emphasizes again the importance of the NFV ecosystem uh, in today's environment. Uh, and it, each of those also involved different uh, uh, edge devices uh, designed by Advantech for different locations uh, in the network. Um, the first uh, announcement we made uh, was at uh, Mo Mobile Edge uh, Computing Congress in Munich. Mm -hmm. um, and that announcement actually uh, involved an Etsy POC that we're working on. Uh, it's led by Brocade um, and uh, partners within that particular POC are Versona Saguna. Uh, as well as Cloudify. Uh, and that whole POC runs on an Advantech uh, carrier grade server platform. Uh, it's a carrier grade blade server for, for scale out. Um, and the whole uh, idea of it really is to demonstrate an advanced service delivery platform where various VNFs uh, add value to traffic that transverse the platform. Uh, at that same event, we kicked off some work with uh, Brocade on Viator OS on one of our other edge devices as well. Uh, the second uh, announcement uh, was actually at uh, SDN uh, and OpenFlow World Congress uh, this week, where we made an announcement together with uh, Wind River uh, on the expansion of our remote evaluation services platform. Uh, and essentially that allows uh, communication service providers to remotely tap into some of these edge devices in, in Advantex labs um, and test out uh, Wind River Titanium Server, their virtual business CPE edition, uh, which involves VNFs from Brocade uh, as well as from Riverbed, Checkpoint and orchestration from, from ADVA. Um, I think the key thing about that announcement is that uh, service providers can easily start development on edge devices uh, in a remote location and it also allows them to test on performance uh, and match really the throughput capex and opex needs uh, of their particular application. Thank you. Um, we're, we're saying you're talking about looking at the mobile edge and then more recently at the customer edge. That's a logical progression obviously and evidently is there a drive behind that now? Is, is custom demand growing? Is for this customer edge application stuff? Yes, it definitely is, and actually, it's even got to the point of deployment. Um, and I think that's where our third announcement comes in, which was with uh, uh, jointly with Versa Networks, just ahead of the SD WAN summit in Paris, uh, and that really announced Advantech's active participation in the newly formed Versa Networks. Uh, SD-WAN white box ecosystem, which gives service providers a wider choice of platforms and allows them to uh, quickly deploy zero-touch provisioning services uh, at the edge. Good, thank you. Hector, you've been sat there quietly waiting for a, for a go. We'll come to you straight away now. now Versa recently announced the first SDN white box ecosystem, as Paul just mentioned. What are the driving forces behind that and what do you bring to the party? Yeah, I think the specific drivers is the fact that today enterprise have built their networks using monolithic uh, approaches for networking, security, and as well as application monitoring, for example. And that's quite costly today. Um, the world has changed into a world that everything, all the network functions are being delivered now on software. Uh, so enterprises are looking first in how to simplify the branch. How can they actually concentrate all these network functions in a single device? 
being able to use either functions from different vendors or a single vendor, but that they can actually decouple the software from the hardware and reduce the, uh, get economies at the scales for that angle. And this is the uh, drivers from the enterprises. Service providers today are seen as well this demand on being able to deliver in a more economical way managed services for network and security. And this is what SD-WAN is coming into play in the last 18 months. So uh, what we are doing, so this is emerging the, uh, forces, what we are doing is an ecosystem where enterprises and service providers can get the device the, from the manufacturers of white boxes that fits to their needs and the couple specifically the software from the hardware. And actually today, uh, even Cole has announced the expansion of uh, the SD1 infrastructure uh, based on Versa software and using uh, white boxes to deliver SD1 services to their enterprise customers. Thank you, and staying with you, would you mind telling us some more about your relationship with Advantech and your SD1 go-to-market approach as far as the service providers themselves are concerned? We have a very strong relationship with Advantech because uh, in order for an enterprise and a service provider to be able to buy these kind of solutions, they need to be sure that this solution works together. That when there is an issue, uh, the company who's delivering this software is able to support that device. So we have a strong relationship so that we can validate our software so that they can as well ship the hardware with the Versa already uh, software embedded into the system, but as well in the roadmap because there is a lot of evolution and requirements coming from uh, the market and we need to adapt at a very fast pace. So we are working together to be able to address all the uh, coming needs into this space. Interesting. Hector Avalos, Paul Stevens, Thank you both very much indeed, gentlemen. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Martin.